Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can create such 3D model using normal maps and diffuse maps. In a previous tutorial I'll show you how you can model this kind of model uh, using different techniques. But when, we, when it comes down to using these kind of models uh, for animations, for games or such purpose, it is uh, important to make sure you have models that have a low amount of polygon, polygons. So if we check how much polygons uh, this model is made up, so we go up to utilities and click on more and on polygon counter. And if we select all three parts, we can see it's made up out of uh, almost 120k uh, polygons, triangles. So it's way too much, way, way too much for animation because if you have multiple models uh, created and you animate them, your hardware is going to have really, really hard time uh, rendering out all these polygons. And so we always have to make sure we have polygons that are low on polygon count. So I'm going to show you here how you can create similar, very similar uh, uh, looking model uh, and it's not going to be uh, larger than uh, 1.2k on polygon counts. So we're going to redo this one that has 120k into 1.2k. You don't believe it? Let me show you how we can do this. So, for this tutorial, I'm just going to duplicate the lower and upper part, and I'm going to delete the Turbo Smooth modifier, and I'm going to go to front view, and going to delete the the upper face is polygons because we're not going to see them anyway in your animation if you have probably a, a roof applied to this column and a floor applied on bottom so every time you creating models for animation or for games you always have to make sure you uh, use polygons that are going to be seen so, why have polygons if they're not going to be seen? You don't, you don't need them. So, delete them. So, going back to top view, I'm going to redo this uh, center part using cylinder. I'm going to use 18 sides and pressing Alt A on the keyboard uh, and clicking on this lower. Uh, part of the column. I'm going to uh, align this, apply it and then just on Y position to make it look like this. So I'm just going to make sure the measurements are making sense here. So I'm just right clicking on the cylinder and Convert it to editable poly. Pressing 4 on the keyboard to select polygons. Control A on the keyboard to select everyone. Holding Alt on the keyboard, click and drag and, and release everything. And now we have selected just the upper face of polygon and the lower polygon. Delete them, you don't need them because you are not going to see them. Then I uh, apply U unwrap UV modifier and open it up and I also use text tool which is great for quick uh, unwrap unwrapping your model I'm just going to select everything and then just click holding alt and clicking on one polygon to deselect it iron it relax it to the same with 
this part. I'm not going to go into details how you can unwrap your models. You can look up this kind of stuff on YouTube. So I'm just going to go up uh, quickly to get to the point of this tutorial. So we have our column UV unwrapped and we're going to save it. Branded UV. 1K, I don't want to see Sims render and then just save it. I already have one saved before. Yep. No, I didn't do that right. Here it is. Yep. Turn this off. And then open up Photoshop. Open up the UV map that you just created. Double click on the layer. Rename it. I always rename it. Control I on the keyboard to invert the colors. Set it to multiply. Create new layer. Pull, uh, pull it below. Use some grayish color to make the base color of the uh, column. Then create another layer. I'm going to use this uh, rounded rectangle tool. You probably have a rectangle tool. Then just uh, press, click and press until you have this uh, side options uh, opened up. And then just select the rounded rectangle tool uh, on the radius. Uh, click. Uh, 10 pixels, set 10 pixels and then just draw draw a similar shape make sure you are using white color and then just I just normally don't like this kind of shapes so I just created another layer Select them both holding control and pressing control E on the keyboard to merge them together. So now I have this one indention created, or better say, uh, wannabe indention created. So I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard and click and dragging to uh, duplicate it, and then control E on the keyboard to merge these layers together. Again, Alt, click, drag, Control E, Alt, click, drag, and I'm going to uh, redo this until I get this uh, for the whole uh, UV layout. So you can see we have this UV layout here and we don't need this uh, part so I just used the selection tool and select that and delete it simple so we have these now these uh, white lines and we are going to uh, save them save it then go back to max select the center part Pressing M on the keyboard to open up uh, Material Editor. Then just set this color to black and then just click on this where it says None. Select Bitmap and then just go to your folder where you have this column UV map you just created saved. So click OK. Go here to Parent show shaded material in viewport has to be on and just assign material to selection now we can see we have this kind of not really uh, good looking map applied to the to this column and we're going to fix that going back to going back to Photoshop and applying 
a layer style. Select inner shadow and use normal distance one size one and maybe increase the opacity okay now we still have this white color which we don't want so let's just select multiply to get rid of them Obla. and multiply yeah control save it go back to max and it's going to update automatically so we can see we have a slight problem here because I have a slightly too large yeah it's better so we can see we already have a similar look of these indentions uh, just created with diffuse map but it's still uh, but you can still see the difference because these have these white edges so I'm going to re redo this in Photoshop 2 I'm just going to control J on the keyboard to duplicate this layer and then just double click on inner shadow to open it up select the white color deselect use global light and make it about minus 160 pressing OK Control save it, go back to max, and you can see the difference. And it's almost identical. You 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 have really hard time telling which one is made out of uh, diffuse map and which which one is really uh, modeled. So just on the, it's not really that different. I'm really surprised here that it's so similar. So uh, normally you you would also use uh, a normal map uh, when creating such indentions. So I'm going to create a folder, holding uh, pressing on one layer, holding Control, second layer, Alt, click and drag into no new folder to duplicate these layers and I'm just going to shut off these layers and then just selecting these two layers and holding control pressing control E on the keyboard to merge them together so I'm going to go up to filter and you should have NVIDIA tools or XNormal plugin uh, downloaded and copy it in your folder Windows Adobe Photoshop so I'm going to use NVIDIA tools here because it's more familiar for me uh, but the result is going to be the same with XNormal plugin 2 so opening up NVIDIA normal map uh, filter uh, I use here I use 4 for scale 4 samples and biased RGB and this is pretty much it pressing OK looking closer we can see we have this slight indentions so uh, going up to file save for web or clicking alt shift control plus s and then just save it as a column normal map going back to max selecting the column pressing m on the keyboard to open up the material edit editor opening up maps bump none selecting normal map on normal click it select bitmap and select uh, normal map that you just created going up up and out of previous tryouts I guess 8 is going to be ok on the amount and that's pretty much it so making sure we're going to see what we want to see so if I do this then just tell me which one is modeled and which one is created with diffuse map and normal map you probably 
would have 50-50 chance to make it right decision. So, uh, even I don't know <laughs> which one is made, okay, this one is made out of uh, map and this one is modeled. Render it out and you can see they're pretty much, you, they should be pretty much identical. Yeah, pretty much. Not perfect, but pretty much. So, looking from far, it's really hard to tell which one is modeled and which one is created with normal maps. You can you can play with uh, the amount of uh, normal map, uh, but this is not for this tutorial. I'm going to just make check uh, how many polygons. Uh, we used to create this new column the old one had 120k and the new one has 1.148k polygons so this is pretty much it uh, I hope you learned something new subscribe to my channel check out the rest of the tutorials uh, share the video uh, let me know if you like this, this tutorial, comment below or just clicking on like on the button below. So, till next time.